Hi, it's Simon at Van Sedane, Worcester. Going to give you a quick video walk around of this very, very nice Volkswagen T5.1. Uh, 2 litre TDI 140 DSG um, in obviously grey metallic. It's a lovely looking van, isn't it? Um, in actual fact, pretty damn good condition all around as well. So um, let's give you a video walk around so you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. And we'll take it from there. So up there on the roof probably got a better view of it than me but that's looking pretty straight and tidy doesn't look like it's had any uh, people walking around on it coming down onto the windscreen uh, no major stone chips to point out to you I uh, can't really see any stone chips if I'm honest but we'll have a look for you bonnet bonnet is all good I know it's wet but there's no real stone tripping to point out to you passenger headlight unit's all good coming down onto the front bumper corner clean and tidy as you can see it's had a sport line front spoiler fitted to it coming around the front of the vehicle and to the driver's side bumper corner again sport line front spoiler headlamp unit's all good grill etc all as it should be all nice and secure as we look down the driver's side of the vehicle, hopefully you can see a lovely mirror finish to it. No major dental dings to point out to you. All nice and tidy. Other wheels, uh, Sportline wheels. Uh, Tyres, I think, are all pretty new, as you can see there. Wheels themselves. The odd mark or two, but nothing major to point out to you. Driver's side front wing's all good. Driver's side mirror unit, secure. Mirror itself, all good. Now, there is a front tint on these windows at the moment. I think we may well have to remove that before we sell it. But coming down onto the driver's side door, again, no real marks to point out to you. Behind your door handles, clean and tidy or as they should be, locks are in good condition. Mid-quarter driver's side. Again, no major marks to point out to you, if anything at all. Driver's side, rear quarter. Again, all tidy. Alloy wheel this side, another sport line. Uh, nothing major to report on the condition from those. Again, rear tyre, loads of tyre tread depth on there. Driver's side, rear bumper corner. No scuffs or marks to point out. Hinges on the doors, clean, tidy condition. The rear light unit itself, no marks on that. Uh, coming around to the rear of the vehicle, as you can see, it's a rear barn door model. It has Sportline styled rear spoiler on the top there. Uh, no major marks to point out to you on the rear doors. Obviously, high level brake light units there, all in good order. And the rear bumper. Again, yes, there's water on it, but no real marks to point out to you at all. Opening up the rear doors. Uh, so we still need to have a little bit of a tidy up in here, but as you can see, you have a factory bulkhead with a window in it. Um, side panels, clean and tidy. It has had another kit in it. Obviously that's been removed. This is how it stands at the moment. Uh, it's got a Sortimo floor down the bottom here. That just needs securing into place. We have got the tie down points there to secure all the flooring into place. Depends on how you want it, what you're looking at doing with it, where you get, whether you're gonna work it, whether you're gonna convert it. Um, Inside of the rear doors, rear panels. Yes, there's elements of marks on there, but there's nothing too horrific. Passenger rear light unit, all in one piece. Hinges, etc. all nice and tidy. Passenger rear bumper corner, all good. As obviously, as you can see, it's got reverse parking sensors fitted to this vehicle. Nice spec vehicle, as you can probably appreciate if you're looking at the advert already. Sportline wheels this side, again, looks like another new tyre this side as well. 
mounted tire tread depth, passenger rear quarter this side, no wheel marks to point out. And then passenger sliding door. Again, clean and tidy. Behind the door handle here, all good. Door handle, passenger side, all good. And passenger side door, again, tidy enough. Seals, all in one piece as you would expect. And then sport line wheel this side. Bit of a mark down there, unfortunately. Um, but tire on this side again, plenty of tire tread depth. And then if we look down the profile of the vehicle from this side, again, no dents or dings to point out to you. Mirror unit this side, casing, and the mirror itself is all good. If I open up the passenger side door card, inside your door card, clean and tidy. Door card itself, all reasonable. Entry seals. Plastics are good, painted entry seal is good, rubber flooring, all good, passenger seat, excuse my camera, let's move that out of the way, just been valeted today, factory bulkhead as you can see, seat trims themselves, clean and tidy, place cloth trim in there, headlining's all good, top of your dashboard, clean and tidy, I will go around to the driver's side in a second fascia of the dashboard etc all clean and tidy and let's just show you the driver's side so driver's side open up the doors again entry seals and plastics in good condition flooring this side minimal wear there very good for one of these to be fair lots of dsg you've only got two pedals rubbers on the pedals are all good driver's seat a little bit saggy there if i'm honest with you but the seat itself clean tidy order it is uh, obviously captain's seat with the armrest look, twin armrests there, there we go. Electric windows and mirrors on this side, driver's door card as you can see is also clean and tidy as well. Uh, dashboard, 108,000 miles, the only warning lights we've got on are for fuel, a handbrake and I haven't got a seatbelt on. Um, DSG gearbox which is what makes this vehicle very rare, air conditioning. Uh, I don't think it's got Bluetooth, but I will double check. It's got the, obviously the power unit there. That doesn't light up at the moment, so that hopefully that is just something fairly simple. Cup holder there. So there we go. So it's 108,000 mile. Uh, Grey metallic, obviously, pointing out the obvious. Uh, Sportline look. Um, Volkswagen T5, 140 brake, 2 litre TDI. Uh, DSG, so the automatic gearbox. That is what makes this van very rare indeed. It's the very desirable long wheelbase model, uh, with this makes it very desirable indeed. Um, 60 photos on our website. Uh, we're, who are we? We are Vans Today, based in Worcester in the centre of the country. And you can check us out on vanstoday.com or you can phone me on 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com appreciate the fact you made it through the video uh, if you need to check us out reputation wise we are on the internet check us out on google in uh, linkedin instagram facebook etc etc thanks for looking at the video if i can be of any more help give me a shout cheers